Good evening, my dear student. Today we will discuss about standard eight, chapter eleven, the human eye. Okay. So without delay, let's start the topic. As we all know that eyes plays a very important and crucial role role in our eye life. The human eye is one of our most valuable and sensitive organ. We use our eyes in activities like reading, writing, driving, observing nature, and it's countless on in other ways. And we have already studied about the phenomena of refraction of light and its role, the working of the lens. We have also studied about the nature, position, and relative size of image formed by different types of lenses. Okay, we also know that it is only. When the light from an object enters our eye, that we are able to see the object, and this basic idea will help us in our study of the human eye. Now we'll discuss about the human eye. The human eye or eyeball is nearly a spherical in shape with a diameter of about two point five centimeter. When light enters the eye through a transparent coat top front surface, this is known. This is known as the cornea of the eye. Now you can show where is the cornea of the eye. Okay, if it is whitish in color and the white of the eye is the main function is to act as a protective layer for the eye. The space behind the cornea is filled with a light liquid called aqueous humor, and behind the cornea is a dark colored muscular diaphragm. Here you can show this in diagram. It is called iris. The iris may be pigmented, and it is responsible for the characteristic color of the eye of a person. Then come to a small circular. Aperture or opening is present in the center of the iris. The size of this aperture is variable and self-adjustable. This aperture is known as pupil. The pupil appears black as no light is reflected from it, and the iris regulates the amount of light entering the eye by adjusting the size of the pupil. In dim light, the pupils get Enlarged and thus lets more light enters the eye. In bright light, the pupil contracts. If it is this self-adjustment of size of the pupils that not only protects the interior of the eye from excessive brightness but also improves image forming ability. The light entering the eye is focused by the eye lens. The eye lens is a convex lens. Which is made of transparent crystalline layer, and it is harder at its middle and gradually becomes softer towards its edges. The eye lens is held in its position by ciliary muscles. These muscles help in changing the curvature and hence the focal length of the eye lens. Then come to the lens of the eye forms a reveal inverted. Then come to the lens of the eye forms a real inverted image of the object on the inner coat of the eye, and this screen of the eye is called retina. Retina is a light sensitive screen, and it is delicate membrane having enormous number of light sensitive cells. Retina contains light sensitive cells or photoreceptors. This light sensitive cell are of two type. The first one is the rod shaped cell, and the second one is cone shaped cell. So now we'll discuss about the rod shaped and cone shaped cell. The rod and cone sensory are the nerve nerve cell. It is respond expectably to the amount of light energy and the color colors present in it. And the rods are the responsible for the reason dim condition. And the cones helps us in color vision. The cone get activated only in bright light condition. Oh. Then come to do you know section. The cornea is the tissue in the human body which does not contain blood vessel. You have to remember it because question arises from do you know section. 
the eye muscles are the most active muscle in the human body and our eyes contain nearly 7 million cells this is very important so please, student please remember our eyes contain 7 million million cones which helps us see the colors and the detail of the objects also there are nearly 120 million cells called rods which helps us to better in dim light condition today is this much thank you